Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are going on in the world of Transformers and let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. As ever at the moment, this is part one of two because as we keep saying, there just definitely is at the moment way too many things going on in the world of Transformers. We're going to start off with the War Dawn pack again, but this time we've got some actual figure images of Dion and Ariel. So excuse the glare. If you want to see these images in much more detail without the reflection, then head to TFW 2005, which is where I've got these screenshots from. So we can see there we've got the box, which we've seen. As we already know, this is Ariel, but she's going to be using the uh, Transformers Prime from Legacy RC mold. And of course, that is the Studio Series Cup mold. They both got slightly different, obviously, uh, parts on it. So there's a bit of a mold change as well as obviously a massive recolor. Um, I really like these. I think they look great. Um, but I'm, not, I'm a fan of this mold, to be honest. I've got nothing against that RC mold. Um, maybe it would have been nice for them to have their own individual new molds, but for me, it still works. It's all about the characters. Here's some comparison shots, obviously, with original owners of said same molds. Um, I just think they work. As I say, yep, yeah, could have done with others, but it still works for me. And what I'm liking the fact is it's just two deluxe figures. So I'm hoping it shouldn't be too expensive. Um, and there, of course, is a different way to display it if you wanted to. Okay, this is really interesting. This is fantastic. We're getting some really good artwork at the moment and some unreleased drawings. This is courtesy of Romeo Tangai. This is a storyboard artist and character and background designer for the Transformers, the movie. So the 86 movie. And what we've got here via his Facebook, we've got concept art of loads of things. This is amazing. And when you, uh, because for the Transformers, the movie for myself as a child, it was huge as it was for so many people. These are, you know, these are all the brainstorming storming images. And again, I'm going to have to divert you to TFW 2005 to see these in more detail because even if I had the proper screenshots on it, it wouldn't do it any justice because you've got to zoom right in and have a look at it. So we've got all this concept art, as I say, from the movie. We've got some different scenes. We've got some ideas from inside Unicron. We've, of course, got Cybertron. You'll see in a second, there's some actual character designs. And the character designs, I think, for me, are the, uh, the most special because, you know, in a minute, you're going to see them. And these were the first times that these characters were just, I suppose, conceived, just even thought of. So to see the original images of these and where they've come from. So, of course, there is Retgar. There is Cyclonus. There is, of course, some Quintessons or the Quintesson Judge, rather. Cybertron, I mean, that's just an amazing, outstanding piece of artwork. It really is. Um, I so it, it's really interesting. I'd say have a look at there because of that. I just think again, it's spectacular. There is Galvatron. You know what I mean? That's the first time that that particular character and how iconic is that now? That character, how many molds of that figure have been made? We've had four uses of a Galvatron mold just in the last couple of years in Kingdom and Legacy. So it's, it's just really exciting to see. Okay, Transformers Rise of the Beast. What's the correct names for this? Combat Alliance. These have been spotted in stores in the US. And we've got some pictures, again, in hand images of these. So here, of course, are the ones that they combine with each other. So you've got the main characters there, RC, Optimus Prime, or Bumblebee. And then there they are in robot mode. These, of course, are targeted at a younger audience. Uh, but they're like mini combiners, you can see there. And of course, this person's done exactly what I would have done. They've mixed and matched them just to prove that you can indeed do that. Combine them up all differently. There's RC. And I love the fact as well that they've thought of doing that. You can obviously put Primal on RC as well. So they look exactly what you'd expect them to be. That's some size scaling there for you. Exactly what toys should be. Toys should be fun and the fact that you can mix and match them. And exactly that, just, I suppose, a good play set. Moving on to something that I've got on pre-order because I'm a f big fan of this mold. This is Dia Burnout. Here she is in her masterpiece um, glory, shall we say, because she looks spectacular. I've got loads of images here, some um, all from different people. Again, I've got all of these main images. Look at this, you can even choose G1 or G2 by the looks of this from TFW 2005. Uh, we've got some images of the box there. Uh, it comes with the scooter again and everything else. There's the other ones from the mold. We're gonna see them in some images in a second. There's the contents of the packaging. Even though, you know, this isn't a new mold, 
Um, as I said, funny enough, in my Nemesis Prime video, and indeed my Sound Blaster, I just think the black really, really works. There, of course, is Burnout from the Velocitron toy line. Um, and these will be sort of the images that I take, either on my bed or, you know, on the stairs. Not professional photos at all. Um, but I've got some much better images coming up in a second. Again, this is what the first masterpiece, the skids use of the mold that I brought in 10, 15 years, well, about at least 10 years, no, maybe 15 actually. And I was so impressed with it, I've gone and brought cross cut and I've pre ordered her as well. So there's the mini skids that comes with it. And again, just a final few images of exactly what I said. This is a spectacular toy, a really good mold. Um, I haven't got reboost yet, I'm on the fence, maybe I don't need all of them. Right, this next thing, funny enough, is very, very interesting. It seems to me, I don't know if it's a deliberate mistake, if it's a thing to tease us, if it's an intended leak. We obviously, with the G2 unreleased artwork, we had the picture of Grimlock um, on the box, but no other images instead of the front of the box of Toxitron, which I don't know is an intended mistake or not. But this is even better. So somebody ordered Crosscut from Hasbro Pulse. They sent them Crosscut in a box, but on the back of the box, there was this. So this of course all but confirms what we sort of knew anyway. Medix is definitely gonna be coming out in the Legacy Evolution toy line. So yeah, this is the story here. There's the story, again taken from TFW 2005. Back of the box of the crosscut, that is clearly Medix. And of course it's the same mold. Um, is it deliberate? Is it intended? Is it a tease? But anyway, there we go. There's a bit of confirmation for us that Medix is coming out. E-Hobby, now I love E-Hobby. I do loads of reviews of their figures and I love the fact that they've started doing these collector's cards. So these are collector's cards in chibi sort of style pictures, um, which is Prowl, Shockwave. I just need to double check who's the one of the pretender. It is Pinstro, I thought it was. I can tell the rest of them, but you'll, be, you'll forgive me for when we get to the third picture. So there, of course, as I said, is Prowl and Shockwave. There's Optimus Prime with the Matrix and Alpha Trion. That is Vroom and that is Pincher from the Pretenders or G1. And then we've got Skyquake and indeed, oh, I nearly forgot his name, Thunderclash. I might have to try and get these. I might get back on the Japanese auction sites and see if I can find them, because I think they're amazing. These have just came out of nowhere and they've been spotted in store. These are Transformers, I suppose, toys, accessories, etc. We've got a giant Energon Axe and indeed a giant Energon Sword. These have been found in stores in America for $5, which I don't think is too bad, to be honest, especially by today's um, prices on toys. Just wanted to share that with you as well. So yeah, so just once again, there's an axe and there's a sword. This is something as well now that I wish that I'd ever addressed when um, subscriber Ben Williams, bless him, he's so knowledgeable. He found something, he basically found this about two weeks ago. Uh, you know the new pack we're getting from, well, Takara Tomia basically releasing the premium editions of uh, the Beast Wars characters, Megatron and Optimus Primal. On the website, he found this, and I just haven't had a chance to do a video, but T-Formers have picked up on this now, and it looks like exactly that. He's found that it's going to be basically a new toy line by the looks of it, and that's what it's saying here. You can have a look at it out there, the website there as well, Takara Tomy, We've, and it looks like they're going to be re releasing premium editions of Rhinox, Rat Trap, Cheetor as well as the two that we definitely know. So again, props to Ben Williams, subscriber. He found this, he sent me a link and everything and I just apologize to him now that I didn't manage to get this, uh, to get it done in time before somebody else found it, obviously. Right, this looks to be a new third party company. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm obviously just getting into third parties myself. This is another take on um, Menasaur and Motormaster. So this is by the third party company called Rising Force. And I think that they are legends. They might be just a little bit bigger, 14 centimeters. So no, maybe more deluxe uh, in between. 14 centimeters, Rising Force Howl, which is their take on Motormaster. Only prototype images at first. And in a second, there's two in alternate mode. There's the rest of the Stunticons, which look great. Um, again, I can't explain to you why there's two of them there. I wish I could. There's no more information on these apart from the fact that it's Rising Force and it is Howl, which you're gonna see in a second with the rest of the Stunticons. So really intrigued to see what these are gonna end up looking like, in honesty. Right, moving on. Fans, here we go, fans outside Japan. This is great news as well, because exactly what I've just shown you. This again is taken from T-Formers. So in partnership with Bayi, 
which is a Japanese, I suppose, auction site. The best way I could describe or explain to you how Bai works, um, and that's indeed how I get on my Japanese figures via websites like this. They're like a holding, um, let me read it exactly, let's see what it says. Does it say that it doesn't, no, basically what they are, is that like a holding zone, a bit like the your pile of loot with Big Bad Toy Store. So you buy a load of stuff and they hold onto it and they ship it out to you all in one go. That's what buy you do. Um, you can buy something from Yahoo Japan, from Yahoo Auctions, and they can hold it all for you and you can ship it all out at once. Whereas it looks like Takara Tomy are now working with them. So you buy something from Takara Tomy, they'll ship it to Bayi's warehouse and then they'll then ship it on to you. So again, more information for this is on Tformers and indeed TakaraTomy.com. And here is again, the exact information on that. And that's pretty much ex explaining what I've just said to you there you go it's a proxy purchase service so that you buy something it goes to a warehouse then it's shipped onto you from them right more third party news i've been on the weibo pages of lots of our favorite um yeah exactly that third party companies on iron factory at the moment there's loads and loads of images on their new take on brawn this is a video that you can just click on i've got some screenshots from it and for those of you who don't know iron factory they do legend scale figures of generation one characters, main ones, but they just give them their own sort of style. Sometimes they make them look samurai, sometimes they just, just change them, but you can still tell by looking at them that that's obviously Brawn, and that's obviously Brawl, sorry, and that's obviously, no, Brawn, yeah, Brawl's Decepticon. Brawn and Pipes, they just have their own little take on them. There's the transformation process on the video showing you how intricate it is. However, I definitely feel that this particular figure looks better in the robot mode than in the alternate mode. You can see how intricate it is with all these little gaps, joins, flaps, etc. on it. But there he is. This is Iron Factory's take on Brawn. I suppose first revealed at uh, the TFCon uh, last month, I think. And again, there's just a few more images from loads of other profiles on the Weibo account as well. Then I went from there to Magic Square. This is their leader class Optimus Prime version 2.0 EX. So this is the metallic paint version of him. And this again looks spectacular. This is not a legend scale Magic Square, do masterpiece scale figures as well. And that's what this is. As I say, this is their take on Optimus Prime. And he looks absolutely stunning, even better with the metallic paint, which I think is fantastic. Um, maybe I'll venture into them, I don't know just yet, uh, but for now, and again there, there's a funnily enough, there's a video review of the original three uses of that mould, Prime, Magnus and Nemesis Prime. And funnily enough, I just want to show you this, because again, there's some pre-orders available on Show's eStore, and again, for those of you who don't know, and I'm sorry I keep banging on about it, but I just love the fact that I am now a Show's e reviewer. If you order anything from that website, you can see in that box right there, that it says support your favorite reviewer. If you write Toys R Us in one word there for me, that would be much appreciated. I'm just gonna show you the first four lines of the pre-orders that are available. So there you go, there's the Magic Square figure we were just on about. There's that Silver Bolt figure I was showing you last week. There's just so many on here. I've got them Dr. Wu figures on pre-order, um, etc. There's every single company you can pretty much think of. Um, and again, just check out the pre-orders there. Late addition to this, obviously. This broke on Transformers Tuesday all around the world. We've got some more images of Shattered Glass Grimlock. Now, I know this has annoyed a few people because they just want some reissues of the original, um, but this is a great, great idea of a brilliant, brilliant figure. So if you aren't able to get the original and you don't want to pay loads of money in the aftermarket and you don't mind Shattered Glass, this is fantastic. He looks amazing. I think the color scheme on him just really, really works. It's so cool. Um, and again, this went up for pre-orders um, as of Tuesday, pretty much everywhere in the world. So if you want to get yourselves a copy of this, because I highly recommend it. The mold's amazing. And to be honest, I just love the whole shattered glass concept. So we're very much near the end of the first part of the news. In fact, there we are at the end. So with regards to videos on this channel, I have just got such a backlog, but it's good. Um, I'm looking to get Crosscut and Crash Bard in the next couple of days. New Age is Ironhide. Um, I've still got Kang Toys, uh, one of their minis to do as well. Just the rest, uh, Grimlock, Core Class Grimlock, pretty much Legacy Evolution. And I've been told as well that um, my Studio Series pre-orders that I ordered again, 
Um, I've Rise of the Beast uh, incoming as well, so I'm gonna have to do an unboxing of that, and again, just keep up as much as I can. I wanted to, again, take a huge opportunity to thank everybody. My Instagram's nearly on 6,000. I mean, there's like two people off it at the moment. Um, and again, the channel just keeps growing. Thank you everybody for the channel uh, membership support as well. It really does mean a lot. It's helping me get all these figures and you know review them all. And indeed, just get these videos out to you as soon as I can, as well as of course the giveaways and all the other things that we've got on the Discord. It's just a great community and brilliant to be part of. Once again, thank you everybody for the support. Take care and I'll see you in about 10, 12 hours.